Well, good morning. It is 10.15 already. It has been a very full day. I've got some laundry going. I had some vacuuming that I had to do that I got done. We've done some playing. We went for a walk. We picked some basil. I've got lunch prepped. Um, so we are having an upside down pizza bake that I'm taking out to my husband's warehouse as one of his employees. This is his last day or her last day. So i um, making some lunch to go out to them. Um, that is the morning and lunch for us. And then you see my canned peaches back here. I am hoping to get another log of peaches today. Maybe do a little canning or jam making of that. Um, hope to make some pesto as we picked the basil and I'll freeze that as well. But it is gonna be a full morning and you hear a little one who probably needs some feeding as well. So that is gonna be the morning so far. This recipe was so easy and it's just pretty much dump everything into one pot and then I cooked it in my Dutch oven there and you can kind of make it how you want it. I added fresh tomatoes from the garden to enhance the sauce a little bit and I put some then crescent rolls on top or biscuits I should say. Sorry it called for crescent rolls and I didn't have those so I went to the store and bought some Pillsbury biscuits, you know, not the healthiest. You could do a sourdough on top. That would be really good too, but it was really good, um, pretty substantial, and so just something I thought I would share with you guys too. Sorry, I did forget to film the finished look of this dish. Then it was time to head out to the gardens to pick some produce, and I've just been so grateful for my garden this year. We are back home from lunch at my husband's warehouse. Both girls are sleeping. Nadia slept the whole time there anyways. Um, the food was a hit. I don't have much left, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> so, perfect. And then I stopped and picked up a lug of peaches. Here's some of the peaches I picked up. They are California peaches, I'm gonna say. They're actually a little hard still, so I will not be doing those today, which is okay, because I need to um, freeze the corn and it's such an easy process with the corn so I'll probably do that at supper time but I'm gonna clean up what I brought home this pesto recipe calls for walnuts instead of pine nuts pine nuts are very expensive so a walnut is a good substitute and I love having as you've seen before my daughter Nevea help and watch the whole process of making things, especially when they're from scratch and items from uh, your own garden.
always like to do a little cleanup when my daughter is occupied with either snacking or um, playing on her own. So just putting the dishes away as she eats her little snack. And I just think that's good if you want to prioritize getting some things done around the house. When your kids are occupied with some things on their own, that is definitely a time to do such tasks. It is now almost supper time and so time to husk the corn and get started on that and um, my little one likes to help again in her way and then my husband was able to come out and help as well. So grateful for all the help especially when produce is in abundance. Processing and freezing corn is one of the easiest preservations possible. You just get a big pot of boiling water and then you stick your ears in till they're all submerged. I set the timer for nine minutes. You can put some salt in it if you want. Let it cool just slightly. Use a sharp knife. I like using a cutting board with a cookie sheet or baking sheet under it to catch the extra bits that fall off. Um, yeah, I do use a sharp knife. You could also use an electric knife if you have a lot of corn to process. I didn't have enough to have to use that. But if you cut it when it's still a little bit warm, it comes off the cob so much easier. And then I put it in my quart-sized bags, labeled it with the year and corn, and voila, it is done. Now, I do have to share a little tip on freezing. If you want more freezer space, you flatten it out in the freezer bag. You'll see me do that here in a bit so that it doesn't take up so much space and it's not so bulky and so it stacks much nicer. So supper tonight is actually a dish we were given for <laughs> the week Nadia was born. So eight weeks ago, we hadn't used it. It was stuck in the freezer. It's just a cheesy ham noodle, a dish I probably wouldn't typically make myself, but that's okay. It's there. It was easy from yesterday. Just some raw veggies with hummus and of course some sweet corn. It's inevitable that this window gets water spots on it, especially then when I was processing corn. So just doing a little kitchen wipe down after supper and after dishes were done. sunflowers are coming in so nicely and beautifully and the sun was just setting I wanted to cut some of my flowers and put them in a nice picture to just display on my table for the next day I'm going to say good evening here as it is almost 10 o'clock. I'll be feeding Nadia here in a little bit. I had to do some editing of a video and then I have to do a little 
um, other work that I do. So I'm going to let you go and I hope you enjoyed coming along today. I was just showing you a lot of honestly more preserving of the garden and just some things we do throughout the day. The afternoon was a little bit off on filming as of course newborns sometimes just need more attention than you anticipate and nap time sometimes don't happen the same. But anyways, I will talk with you in the next video. Bye. <music>